hello friends in this video we will move with our next phylum that is phylum tenophora okay phylum tenophora why they are called as tenophora because tene in greek tene is nothing but comb forus is a bearing they are having comb bearing organisms or comb like structure is present hence they are called as a tenophora they are completely aquatic and almost marine they are transparent and light producing they are luminescent organisms they can they can also be called as luminescence why because they produce light hence they are called as luminescence see here then coming to its general characteristics they also show tissue grade of organization so they show tissue grade of organization where cells have combined together to form tissues those tissues have combined uh, those tissues perform a particular function hence they are called as a uh, they come under tissue grade of organization body symmetry see here the one distinguishing character of this phylum is they show both bilateral symmetry and also they show radial symmetry so they are intermediate between bilateral and radial symmetry this is a small exception where tenophora then next one is they are diploblastic they are not triploblastic they are diploblastic in their origin they have uh, externally they, they it is made up of ectoderm internally there is there is endoderm and in between there is a mesoglia there is no mesoderm next one is they have a special cells called as Colloblast. This is one of the distinguishing feature which can be which can be seen only in Tenophora. These are the structures again which are present on tentacles, like uh, what uh, Cilentrata. There, Cnidaria are present or Nidoblast are present. Here, Nidoblast are not present. In instead of Nidoblast, there are Colloblast are present. These Colloblast they are present on uh, tentacles. See here they also helps in attracting the food particles or attracting the prey or capturing the prey it is little bit gummy or it is adhesive in its appearance and it attracts next is locomotion see here the locomotion takes place by ciliated tracts or comb plates it is called as see here these plates are called as a comb plates within the cilia are present see here we can see number of cilia are present they help in locomotion they help in what locomotion this is called as comb plates eight rows of comb plates are present then next one is digestion digestion is complete here digestion is complete in cylinder tar, digestion is not complete why because there is complete digestive structures are not present mouth and anus were uh, opening for mouth and anus is common whereas here there is a complete development of uh, what digestive system see here there is a mouth there is a pharynx and there is a stomach and there is an anal canal and there is an anus to come out hence the digestive system is complete from mouth to anus and also there is a special structure below the comb plates there is a structure called as statocyst here there is a small structure called as statocyst this is a sensory organ this statocyst is called as what a sensory organ which helps to maintain equilibrium or which helps to maintain balance hence it is called as a sensory organ it is only present in this uh, tenophora this is one of the distinguishing feature next one is reproduction they are hermaphrodites that is they undergo sexual reproduction but both male reproductive structure and female reproductive structure are present within the same body hence they are called as hermaphrodites okay so this is about phylum tenophora see here they are they show tissue grid of organization their uh, their body symmetry is intermediate in between bilateral and radial symmetry they are diploblastic they have colloblast they undergo locomotion with the help of comb plates and digestion is complete it is uh, below the comb plate there is uh, below, the, below the comb plates there is a sensory organ called as statocyst and reproduction they are undergo sexual reproduction that is hermaphrodites they have both male and female reproductive structure within the same body this is what this is about the tenophora thank you